Morning everyone, I'm Russell, welcome to my workshop and the next project that I'm going to be working on. I've um, got two young granddaughters and been wanting to make something for them for quite a while. So I got thinking, do I make them a toy box, a doll's house? Did a bit of research, a bit of googling and it came up with a rocking horse which I've always wanted to make. So I started searching for plans which I purchased from the rocking horse shop, a place based in Yorkshire. Um, not only do they supply plans, but they supply everything to do with rocking horses. And I came across Rocky here, made out of one sheet of birch plywood, which appealed to me. And the plans look relatively straightforward. So let's get them out and have a look. So, there they are. There's the plans purchased from the rocking horse shop in Yorkshire, 1999. And a bit of postage, I forget what it was, but you can see very good plans. Um, forgot the designer's name, I'll get it off the book and let you know. Um, but what you can see piece by piece, what we've got to do is trace around all the elements of the horse. And that will become our template. We'll lay the tracing paper over a little bit of hardboard. That'll give me my templates for when my birch veneer arrives on Monday. And then we'll start cutting the shapes out and gluing. But uh, all seems very straightforward so far. As you can see, I'm using standard greaseproof paper that you would use in the kitchen as my tracing paper. Now, a little tip, you do yourself a favour if you can buy sheets of tracing paper 500ml wide, as that is the width of the largest shape on our template. A um, little bit awkward with this as some of the larger shapes I'm having to tape two pieces of greaseproof paper together and it's not easy because obviously being greaseproof paper the sellotape doesn't adhere to it all that well although I'm getting by. So there's our template. What I'm going to do now, if I can get that bit of light tack off, is accurately cut around it with a scalpel. And then we're going to lay it over a bit of hardwood and trace around the outline. family you go from jams to jellies to, to pickles to chutneys to cheeses to curds just, there are so many things in there mm. and it's not a job. I did dancing at age seven but I did ballet when I was two but ballroom and Latin dancing I did when I was from seven years old and I've never taken a break except when I gave birth to my son what, what made you start then doing ballroom well I was <laughs> So, I finished tracing all the elements of the design. The tracing has been overlaid onto hardboard, drawn around, and I've cut out all my templates. Templates have then been transferred onto the birch veneer. Um, very well designed. I forgot the designer's name again. I will get it for you. Um, very cleverly, all the templates fit onto half a sheet of 8 before birch veneer. So you copy around all of them, turn them over, copy them onto the other half a sheet, and that's all your outlined pieces cut for Rocky Rocking Horse. <laughs> Okay, as you can see, um, I've got a little bit ahead of myself. Um, I've glued up lots of the sections and clamped them already. Um, the design is very, very clever and I've finally found the designer's name. It is Anthony Dew. Uh, now Anthony has got 
a recommended procedure of gluing up. However, I've gone off a little off piste um, because I wanted to make sure that despite Anthony's recommendation to do the two halves of the body first and attach the legs, I've actually glued the legs to both halves of the body and done it all in one hit so that I know that my legs are square. As you can see, my clamping table has got bars at 90 degrees to stop the legs slipping forwards or backwards so I know everything's perpendicular and the horse is at 90 degrees. Um, another little tip as well, because obviously there's lots of dowels involved. Um, eight millimeter dowel going right through the horse and all the sections. What I've also done is countersunk the dowel holes and sand it down the end of the dowels. It just makes them a little bit easier to locate when you're clamping it all together. If you're a couple of mil out, you're not gonna find that dowel with that hole. It's gotta be very accurate. Little tip. Another useful tip of Andrew's is to dry fit all your pieces together before spreading lots of glue. There's nothing worse than finding out some of your dowels aren't aligned and you've got loads of PVA glue on the wood that you've got to wipe off. So we're just trying everything for size here. That all looks good. I've already tried the leg on the body, that fits, so we're ready to glue up. So that's Rocky all glued up, we're now ready for carving. So for our carving we've got various tools, uh, rasps, sanders, grinder. A uh, little note on that, the plans recommend an Arbortech type blade so I googled it and this blade came up. Now an Arbortech blade is about £110, found this one for £15 so I'm going to give it a go, it's probably not going to be the same quality as the Arbortech but It'll probably do the job. Let's see how we get on. So, nearly finished all the carving and sanding. Um, today's job, we're gonna mount the eyes in wood filler, let that set, uh, give it another fine sand ready for varnish, which will be done later today. And I've cut my bits of wood ready for the stand, so we'll get assembling the stand today as well. So, not far off. Hi everyone, um, I fast forwarded a bit, as you can see, um, I've finished carving Rocky, he's been sanded down, four coats of yacht varnish. Um, in between the third and fourth coat, I gave it a very fine sanding, final coat, which gives it that nice gloss shine. Um, I finished the stand, again, that's had three coats of yacht varnish. I've also had a dry run, which is a very useful tip to make sure that everything fits together and swings perfectly okay. Worth doing because I went to fit the reins and it turns out the head was too thick and there's no adjustment in the rain so I had to shave a bit more off the head. So worth doing, have a dry run before you go put in all your yacht varnish on otherwise you'll be sanded down again afterwards and then you'll have to re-varnish. Uh, today's job, as you can see, put all the hair in place, put the saddle in place, all the leather work, fit Rocky to the stand, put the swing irons on, the bowler hats on the rails and we're done. And that'll be Rocky complete so let's get on with it. I'll show you what it's like when it's finished.
Well, as you can see, that's rocky complete. So I think there's two little girls on the south coast, my granddaughters, that are going to love it. If these wings could fly